Let's start with uh, Libro SLC, give you a quick overview of the Libro SLC design tool suite. Uh, Libro SLC is an, a comprehensive design tool suite that allows you to implement designs uh, focusing on Smart Fusion 2, Igloo 2, RTG4, or Polar Fire. You have multiple different methods that you can use to enter your design. You can use a graphical design tool from Microsemi called Smart Design. You can use your traditional HDL, either VHDL, Verilog, or System Verilog. And we also have embedded design flows for designs of feature processors, either hard processors like we have in Smart Fusion, Smart Fusion 2, or a, uh, a soft processor like RISC-V or Cortex-M1. Uh, Libro includes the model sim simulator from Intergraphics for functional simulation, gate level simulation, and timing verification after running layout. We have the Synopsys Simplify Pro synthesis tool that allow you to uh, synthesize and optimize your design, um, entering uh, timing constraints to optimize the performance of the netlist that goes into the layout tools. And then after synthesis, uh, we have layout tools uh, that allow you to uh, do a power-driven or timing-driven layout using uh, timing constraints. Uh, we have incremental layout for uh, ECO uh, type of applications where you're going to make a small change. Uh, and we have advanced layout options like multi-pass layout to help you meet your timing objectives. After you've completed layout, we have power analysis tools and timing analysis tools that allow you to make sure that you're meeting your timing objectives and also to understand the power consumption of the design and where the power is being consumed in the design. After you've gone through your power and timing analysis, we have programming tools that allow you to program your design, uh, including the industry's first secured production programming solution that allows you to securely program devices in untrusted environments. And after you've programmed your design, we have the best-in-class debug solution featuring a tool that's called Smart Debug from Microsemi, and we also have another tool from Synopsys that's called Identify that you can use to debug your designs. Libro SLC is easy to learn. We have an intuitive design flow. And we have GUI wizards that will guide you through the design process. And it's easy to adopt. Uh, we have a single click flow from synthesis through programming. Uh, we integrate industry standard third party tools. Uh, we have a rich IP library, of course, that's available with Libro SLC. And the, the look and feel of the tools is very similar to some other tools that you may have used from um, other vendors. Uh, Libro SLC has uh, some differentiating features. Uh, we have an enhanced constraints flow, where we have a constraint manager that's a centralized GUI that allows you to edit, apply, and manage constraints for your design. These can be timing constraints, I/O constraints, and so on. Uh, we already have the uh, we have the uh, aforementioned uh, smart debug tool that allows you to take advantage of features built into the Igloo 2, Smart Fusion 2, and Polar Fire Silicon to debug your design without the need for adding additional logic to have an integrated logic analyzer function. And then the uh, secure production programming solution that I mentioned that allows you to program Smart Fusion 2 and Igloo 2 devices securely in an untrusted environment. So this is a look at the uh, Enhanced Constraint Flow Manager that's available in Libro SOC starting in version 11.7. We had a webinar on this um, a while ago now. Uh, we have one centralized uh, GUI that comes up that allows you to put in your I.O. attributes, your timing constraints, floor planning constraints, and netlist attributes. And you have multiple ways that you can enter these constraints from using an editor and, and typing in your constraints to using graphical tools. And once you've created these constraints, you can specify the tool that you want to have this constraint apply to. In the case of timing constraints, it could be synthesis, it could be place and route, it could be timing verification. You can have a single file um, that's used for all three purposes, or you could have individual files uh, for each purpose if you wanted to. And here we're showing uh, timing, also some floor planning constraint files with a PDC extension, and then IO attributes that might be pin 
pin assignments as well as drive strength and things like that. We support cross probing between some of the different tools. So Smart Time is our static timing analysis tool, and you would use that to verify your timing after layout. You can cross probe that with our floor planner tool, which is called Chip Planner, and that can be really useful if you're not meeting your timing because you can see exactly where the cells are placed on the die. Uh, we also have cross probing between the Smart Time timing analysis tool and the Smart Time editor where you enter your constraints. And this allows you to enter any exceptions that you might have forgot to add before you ran layout if you're doing your verification. So if you go through and you realize a path that has a violation was maybe a false path or maybe a multi-cycle path, you can enter exceptions and then just regenerate the timing without the need to have to go back and run layout again and then see where, where you stand with uh, your timing objectives. Smart Debug is the industry's best debug tool. Uh, was first integrated in Libro in 2013, and it allows you to debug your FPGA fabric and your SERDES blocks in the devices that have the SERDES without adding additional logic. So you can bring two internal nodes out to dedicated pins real time uh, without having to uh, uh, reprogram the device or rerun layout if you want to look at different pins. We can debug memories. Um, we can debug our transceivers. And all this debugging is done using the Flash Pro programming cable that you would use to program. So you don't need any additional hardware to use the debug features. It doesn't use any additional FPGA resources. And there's no need to recompile or reprogram apart from uh, one feature that's called probe insertion that lets you route signals out to unused pins. Uh, MicroSemi's secure production programming solution is a way to allow you to take blank devices, drop ship them to an untrusted environment and securely program in the keys and all of the bitstream material uh, without exposing those keys. And we do that by using hardware security modules. So we have a hardware security module. This is a, a hardened uh, processor created by Talus. We have one at the user end. We have one at the contract manufacturer end. And the user would go through and use our Libro software and uh, create a job ticket that indicates the, uh, the bit stream, the keys are injected, and uh, the number of devices that are authorized to be programmed, and that gets transmitted over to the manufacturing location and used with the HSM at the manufacturing location to allow a certain number of devices to be programmed. So this ensures that uh, the keys are never exposed, the job ticket specifies who can program the devices, uh, which devices are authorized, the exact number of devices that can be programmed, and then a programming content assurance report is set back. So you know after the devices have been programmed that the correct number of devices was programmed, which bitstream was used, and so on. So you prevent overbuilding. You can prevent uh, the wrong bitstream from being used. Uh, it's a really secure and easy to use uh, solution to allow you to just drop ship blank devices without the need to program a key in a secure environment and then give the device to a contract manufacturer. So it's available for Smart Fusion 2 and Igloo 2 devices today. 